This is gonna be the last thing I eat for three days. Hey guys, tonight is Friday night and I am about to start part two of phase one of finding my perfect diet, which is a three day fast. If you haven't seen my video about finding the perfect diet, I do recommend you go check it out for context. And if your first reaction is to freak out at me, tell me this is super unhealthy and that I'm starving myself and that I must have an eating disorder, just hold your horses. I'm not doing this to lose weight. There are a ton of incredible, like, really fascinating health benefits that come from prolonged fasts that I will explain tomorrow when my room is not a disaster and when I have my life together and can actually sit down and explain it. So hopefully I'll get to that pretty soon. But yeah, I'm just, I'm about to sit down and eat my dinner right now and then the fast will begin. I've got my turkey burger topped with some ketchup, pickles, guacamole, and sprouts, and then this is all the lettuce I had left, so this is probably gonna be a mess. And then I have my sauerkraut beaten cabbage salad. Okay, I have finished my food. It is now. Hello? Hello? There we go. It is 10-12 on March 23rd. So starting now, I will not be consuming anything other than water until March 26th at 10-12. PM. So I've had a little bit of time to digest and now I am off to the gym, which I'm not sure is the best way to start out a three day fast, but I'm not going to do any intense exercise. I'm not going to be lifting. I'm not going to be doing any heavy cardio. I'm just going to go for a walk and do some like light mobility flow sessions just to get my body moving. It would not be a good idea for me to go lift heavy right now. Okay, that gym session felt so good. And I just... I feel so much better, I feel so much less stressed, so much more physically relaxed, and it's just great. It's time for bed, because it's really late. I'm gonna chug some water, I think, before I go to sleep, just because I haven't had much water today. And then I'll wake up and proceed to not eat. Okay, good afternoon, people. It is now almost 3 p.m., which means I am almost 17 hours into my fast. And honestly, I'm doing just fine, because I usually do a 16-hour fast at least like three or four times a week. So I'm I'm kind of chilling. But I think it's time we had the talk. And by the talk, I mean the fasting talk. There's two things that I want to talk about. First is who should even consider doing a three-day fast. And the second is why on earth I am subjecting myself to this apparent insanity. So I just want to get this out of the way as soon as possible. I am not recommending that everyone watching this video goes and fast for three days. I cannot stress this enough. I don't want you to see this video and then listen to what I'm about to say about the health benefits of fasting and just go, you know what? I'm gonna go fast for three days. Because I don't think the general population should just be throwing in three day fast without having a very clear understanding of what you're trying to accomplish and already being in a really good place health-wise. Prolonged fasts are an advanced tool in the health toolkit. They're not a weight loss tool. You should absolutely not go into a three day fast with the goal of losing weight. You probably will lose some weight from a three day fast, but if that is your mindset, then you really need to work on your relationship with your body, your relationship with food, your relationship with exercise, etc., before you even consider doing any sort of restricted eating. If you are at all prone to disordered eating and know that something could set you off, you should not consider this at all. The only group of people that I would even remotely consider recommending this for is people that A, have a very good relationship with health, that means a good relationship with their body, with food, and with exercise, who are already very healthy and have no underlying conditions that this could exacerbate, so definitely check with your doctor if you want to do this, and who already have the four pillars of health completely just like locked in, so you're good with your nutrition, you're good on your sleep, your stress, and your exercise. Only if you're one of these people do I recommend even considering this, and even if you are one of those people, I am not not like saying you should go do this. I am saying this is a potential tool in your toolkit. Okay, are we good? I really, I just don't want someone to see this and try a three day fast and just go off the deep end and have horrible things happen to them. So please just rewatch what I said about five times. Okay. Whew, got that out of the way. Now I'm gonna talk about what the actual benefits are and what this tool can be used to accomplish. If you watch my videos, you've already heard me talk about this, but I'm gonna say it again, because it's so cool. The most incredible part of doing a prolonged fast is that it like, literally regenerates your immune system. Because you're not feeding your body, your body has to find other ways to obtain its energy. And one of the ways it does this is through breaking down the fat in your body, but it also breaks down old damaged cells. So fasting speeds up the process of autophagy. So all the little cells that are malfunctioning in your body and starting to get all weirded out, those all die and get replaced with new cells. I have quite a few scientific studies and articles. Here are a few of the titles. 
Fasting triggers stem cell regeneration of damaged old immune cells. Prolonged fasting reduces IGF-1 PKA to promote HSC-based regeneration and reverse immunosuppression. A periodic diet that mimics fasting promotes multi-system regeneration, enhanced cognitive performance, and health span. I will link all the studies and articles down there so that you can check this out for yourself and read more about the actual science behind it if you're interested in looking into it. But it's just is so cool. So that is the biggest reason why I think prolonged fasts are such a cool tool to implement to promote health, but I also have talked about doing this in conjunction with my finding the perfect diet journey. This is part of my phase one, which focuses on gut health and repairing the gut. So benefits of fasting that have to do with your gut include giving your digestive system a break. It can also suppress an inflammatory response in your gut, so if you have any inflammation or whatever, it'll help bring that down. And then it's also been shown to protect the good gut bacteria in your gut and help them thrive and flourish. So hopefully that clears up why I'm doing all this and subjecting myself to the torture of not eating for three days. Again, I am not doing this for weight loss. I will not be showing before and after pictures because I don't want to encourage people to do this to lose weight. Yes, that means that the pictures in the thumbnail were a little bit of clickbait and by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit of clickbait. All of those pictures were taken before my fast. I'm not taking any post fast pictures and posting them anywhere. A little bit of a water update, not that it matters, but I drank a whole one of these since I started fasting last night and I'm this far into this one. I also have a stash of carbonated water. This is the plain LaCroix that literally just has carbonated water. And then I got some Pellegrino. This is what will keep me sane for the next three days. I guess I probably should mention that yes, I am only consuming water for these three days. No kombucha, no tea, no coffee, etc. Dr. Rhonda Patrick is a really good person to look into. She's one of the people in the forefront of the fasting conversation. And she has said multiple times that anything that has any amount of anything in it will reduce the immune system boosting effects. So I just don't want to risk it because you know what's the point in doing this if I have something and it actually ruins the results. So I'm committing to just water. I have seen a few people recommend to put a little bit of salt in the water to keep your electrolytes up. So I'm going to look into that a little bit more. For the shorter fast when I'm doing the 16-8 split, you really don't get all of the huge benefits of doing long-term fasts when you're only fasting for 16 hours. So you're not losing as much by having things like kombucha or apple cider vinegar, a little bit of lemon water. But for these long-term fasts, since you start seeing some of the bigger benefits after 24 or 48 hours that's something that like I just I don't want to mess with it I want all the benefits so I'm sorry kombucha you're just gonna have to sit in the fridge for the next few days also on my last fasting video where I did a 24-hour fast I mentioned that having artificial sweeteners was a no-go because your body responds to them as though they are sweet and have the calories associated with it and people started asking me about toothpaste and whether or not toothpaste will break your fast because like it is sweet and you'll get that sweet response and I mean there hasn't been research done on whether or not toothpaste breaks your fast I think but uh I think I might just not brush my teeth for the next three days because now I just don't know that's something I wouldn't have thought about so thank you to the people that brought that up I'm sorry to everyone that I encounter in person when I have really bad Breath. Okay, update. It is now 7 o'clock, which means I am 21 hours into my fast. This is going about as well as it did last time I did a 24-hour fast. I'm, I'm just chilling. And there were a few times where I felt kind of hungry and then it went away. Like, I'll just have, like, pangs of hunger every now and then, but, like, nothing really bad. I think it helps that I've been really busy today. I had a long list of things to do. Still have quite a bit on that list and soonish I think I'm gonna be going mini golfing so that will hopefully definitely take my mind off any hunger that I may be experiencing in the next few hours <sighs> breakfast so I'm off for a walk I am also the worst vlogger ever because we ended up going bowling last night I brought my camera but it didn't have the battery or the SD card, so I couldn't film anything. But long story short, it was fun. I won a game, but everyone was having french fries and nachos, and oh my god, I have never had worse food cravings in my life. Like, the soggy, cold, disgusting, cheesy nachos looked so good. I wanted them so bad, and I was just imagining everything that I would eat if I could. But uh, I persevered. I didn't cave in, I just bowled, and <laughs> it was it was okay. So now I'm going for a walk, cause apparently that's good to help burn off the excess glycogen so that you can go into ketosis faster. 
got my breakfast. So when I woke up this morning, I expected that I would feel like great because I've passed the 36 hour mark. And everyone says that like after like a day and a half, you start to feel really good because you're more in ketosis or something. I don't know. But no, this morning I woke up and I had a few pangs of hunger, but I think I'm doing okay now. Like I'm chilling, I'm comfy. I don't have intense food cravings at all right now. Like I could totally eat, but I'm not like, oh my God, give me all the food. I'm just trying to do a few pull-ups because there's pull-up bars in the park. I am weak. I have no food. I could only do two. Training while extremely fasted, not. Not happening. Ta -da! <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> so this fasting thing is about to get real difficult. I have some girlfriend duties which involve going to dinner with the family, which means sitting in a restaurant full of food smells and watching people eat delicious food right before my eyes. I haven't been particularly hungry today and I haven't experienced any intense cravings for any specific foods or anything, but I have a feeling that being surrounded by a bunch of food is just gonna make this really difficult. I'll just keep reminding myself of what I'm trying to get out of this and that I am choosing to do this. This is not something that's being forced on me. I'm not forcing myself to do this. I want to do this because I want to improve my health. Good morning, everyone. It is a Monday, day three of my three-day fast. You know what that means? I get to eat today. Not gonna lie, dinner last night was pretty torturous. <laughs> I really wanted to eat everything in sight. You know, when you have like potato skins and a nice steak like right under your nose that's that's a challenge but i ordered a pellegrino and i persevered and i didn't cave i just sat there and watched everybody eat delicious food pro tip if you do a three-day fast don't go hang out with a bunch of people that are going to eat food that just makes things really hard. But today I woke up feeling pretty great. There's still a little amount of hunger there, but I don't have any intense cravings or anything. Like the last two days, I really wanted a grilled cheese. I don't know why, but I really wanted a grilled cheese. Today, I don't have any particular cravings. Like I'm looking forward to being able to eat because I really like food, but I'm not like desperate to eat anything. Just been sipping on some Pellegrino while I do some work from home and then I have to go into the office later today. Hopefully my stomach won't start grumbling while I'm in the office and then I have to explain why I'm not eating. Okay, I gotta run to work, but before I do, I just did a huge Thrive Market order and it arrived today. I thought it was gonna arrive tomorrow, but it got here today and I'm so excited because I also ordered ketone test strips to test to see if you're in ketosis. So. I'm gonna go pee on one of these really quick, and then I'll let you know if I've made it into ketosis yet. Got my test strip. I'd say that's right about there-ish. Now let's see what that means. Okay, this is really stupid. The instructions don't say how to interpret the results of the color, but I did look it up, and they said anything that's pink to purple is probably ketosis, so. I think I'm in ketosis. Okay, I've got to run to work now, but I'll bring you guys with me in case there's anything that I need to update you on. So everyone always says when they're fasting that by the third day, they feel like they could go on forever. And that is definitely not the case for me, like at all. I'm feeling pretty weak and like I definitely need to eat food. Like I'm just walking to a little store down the street right now, but it feels like it's taking a lot more physical effort than normal, so I'll definitely be breaking my fast as soon as the three days are up. Okay, I just got off work. I now have two and a half hours until I get to break my fast and I am headed to a little grocery store right now to pick up a few things for my post-fasting meals to have for the next few days. So, I'm doing that, going home, and just waiting it out until I can break my fast. It is 10.03, so I am Super close to being able to break my fast. I am just preparing. I read a blog post by Dr. Rhonda Patrick, I believe, and it said to break your fast with some turmeric tea first. So I just have water in there, a little bit of turmeric, a dash of cinnamon, a small sprinkling of cloves, and a few grinds of black pepper, and then I also added in like this smallish splash, like less than a tablespoon of almond milk, and then literally like one drop of honey. And so this is what I will be breaking my fast with and then 
about half an hour later, you're supposed to move on to bone broth. So in this bone broth is the epic bone broth in the turkey cranberry sage flavor, half a tablespoon of MCT oil, one tablespoon of ghee, and this is from pasture raised cows, a few grinds of salt, cause I'm definitely low in electrolytes, so I need to replenish that. Okay, it is. Time to break my fast. It is 10.18 on Monday. I have my turmeric latte ready to go. It's still a little bit steamy though. So I'm just gonna talk for a minute while it cools down and just, I'm gonna stick it in the fridge, hang on. Okay, hopefully by the time I'm done explaining this, it will be cool. So you may be wondering, Marissa, why are you not eating like a huge meal? Why the heck are you starting with turmeric tea and bone broth? Well, because I haven't had anything in my digestive system for three days, it's not used to digesting as much anymore. So if I were to have a big meal or have really any good amount of solid food right now, I would be locked in the bathroom, either hunched over the toilet or sitting on the toilet. I'm really not a fan of vomiting or having diarrhea, so I'm gonna stick with what's recommended and start with the turmeric tea and go to the bone broth. Still steamy. I've never been a fan of turmeric. After not eating for three days, this is pretty darn good. I am meal prepping currently for the next week, making sure that I pack all of my meals full of nutrients. I have a lot of bone broth that I'm gonna be consuming. I just made a bone broth that has turmeric, ginger, garlic, a greens powder, a little bit of coconut oil, and a little bit of ghee with like two cups of bone broth, and that's just gonna be jam packed with nutrients. And now that I'm done with this, I'm not gonna go back to intermittent fasting for about a week. I'm just gonna eat when I'm hungry. If I'm hungry first thing in the morning, I'm going to eat because this has been a lot of fasting and I don't wanna completely freak my body out. I way over salted my bone broth. It's not pleasant. I even diluted it with some more bone broth. I thought this part would be easy. I think drinking this is gonna be harder than the three day fast. Okay, I legit cannot stomach the bone broth right now. It's making me just not feel good. Um, so I'm gonna give up on that because I feel like of any time ever, right after a fast is the best time to just listen to your body. So I picked this up at the store today. It's a cave shake. It's mostly made out of coconut, super clean ingredients, and also super high in fat, which is great since I'm trying to stay in keto. So I'm gonna have probably not this whole thing because it's this is very calorically dense, but I do wanna make up for the calories that I'm not having with the bone broth just to like actually feed my body. So I'll have maybe half of this or so and just see how I feel. So I ate as much as I could, but I started to feel a little bit gross. So I figured I should listen to my body. And I think that's what I'm gonna do for the next few days is just slowly increase my caloric intake. I think a good goal is to be comfortable eating around 1500 calories by the end of the week. Cause that's kind of my maintenance when I'm not exercising and I haven't exercised. And I don't plan on exercising this week while my calories are still low. There's one more thing that I just remember that I want to talk about before I go to bed. I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about before and afters and weight loss, but I did weigh myself before and I weighed myself this morning because I'm curious. I just want to know. And I did lose a non-insignificant amount of weight. However, you guys know that I use a scale that gives me my lean mass percentage, my body fat percentage, and my water weight. It turns out that like 90% of the weight that I lost came from water. My body fat percentage and my lean muscle mass barely changed. And I wanted to talk about this really quick because I saw a post in one of the fitness forums that I'm in yesterday and a guy was like, oh, I just did like a two day fast and I lost so much weight, blah, blah, blah. And someone asked, how much weight did you lose? And he said 12 pounds, I was like 12 pounds. That's a lot of weight to lose in two days. That doesn't seem possible. And I was like, oh yeah water weight. Your body stores a lot more water when you're eating carbs. So as you're fasting and all your glycogen is getting used up, the water also gets flushed out of your body. So I can cause a lot of big rapid weight loss and you might see a bunch of people claiming that like, oh, I just did a three day fast and I lost 20 pounds. Don't be fooled into thinking that they lost 20 pounds of fat in three days. That will be a majority water weight and they will gain it all back as soon as they start eating carbs again. Okay, cool. It's really late so I need to go to bed but I just wanted to say that before I go to sleep. So I'll see you tomorrow to let you know how I'm recovering post fast. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys one more update. It's been about 24 hours since I broke my fast. This morning I woke up feeling really gross. I'm pretty sure I ate too much last night and I pushed it a little bit too hard and for most of the day I have wanted to poop my pants and needed to be close to a bathroom at all times. This morning I started out with an amazing grass greens powder mixed with a little bit of MCT oil. I sipped that very slowly. It took me like three or four hours to get that down and then I tried moving on to the bone broth. <laughs> 
and the bone broth just I couldn't I couldn't get that down again I think it's actually the ghee I don't think I over salted it I think I just really either put in way too much ghee or just really just don't like the flavor but either way I could not get that down and the only other thing that I brought with me was a tiny chia seed pudding and I was like I can't just not eat like I have to put something in my body because I just fasted for three days I found some cheese in the fridge at work and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I need something. I need to stay keto. This is perfect. So I proceeded over the course of the day to eat nine ounces of cheese. As soon as I had like one or two pieces of cheese, I started feeling so much better. I'm gonna be having the rest of my cave shake tonight and I had two little bites of beef jerky earlier because I am trying to reintroduce red meat into my diet as well because I haven't had it for like eight years. So yeah, I am now feeling much better than I was this morning. I'm hoping tomorrow to have a few more substantial meals rather than just snacking on cheese throughout the day. Just a reminder, I am not recommending a three day fast to anyone. This is just something that I wanted to do to boost my health. And if you are interested in doing it, you should do your own research and look into all the risks involved. With that said, I know this was a very long video, but thank you so much for watching it. I really appreciate that you even clicked on it. Please do give this video a thumbs up because it really does support me and my channel. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are, what you found interesting. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. Hit that subscribe button down there and be sure to turn the little notification button on and I will see you very soon with some new videos and possibly some yummy keto recipes. Bye!